everybody. I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on today's, I don't know, this is uh, what I call a, a beautiful sports car. Uh, so rare to see. If you went to a car show in this Lancia, uh, the likelihood of seeing another one is, is so slim. But throw in the fact that it's restored, has roughly 1,500 miles on it since the restoration. It's a 1.3 S, so you're getting some of the upgrades that came later on with the five speed. Uh, the engine upgrade and size, things like that. And then we're gonna take a minute and look at the restoration on this car because it is so good looking. The body style is awesome. And I love the fact that we are uh, bringing in the most in the country. We don't bring in many, but we are bringing the most in the country of anybody else out there. And I want you to be part of it. So we installed the Chromadora wheels on here and these have Pirelli P1000 tires on it because we feel it gives a little better look to the car than the original wheel covers and wheel caps. A lot of times we still have a set here. So if you wanted the original style wheel covers and wheel caps in exchange for these, uh, we probably have a set. So uh, kind of your choice and we can kind of make it however you like it. I just think they look really nice, update the car and they're just great looking. All right, let's move on to the restoration, right? All of the stainless trim and the glass and like the bumpers and the headlight trim, all this stuff's either polished, plated and all that good stuff is done. We accidentally, uh, Broke this little piece here. We have another one or on order. I didn't want to stop the video. The car just arrived, so I didn't want to stop the video for it. But that'll be replaced by the time you get it. Lastly, I want to talk about the quality of the paint because regardless of how beautiful the, uh, the details under the hood are or the chassis and things like that, we all like to have a nice shiny car because if it had a beautiful chassis interior but it was primered and dented and dinged, you wouldn't be interested. So here's what I want to show you. The effort that went into this paint uh, is magnificent. Every letter can be read nice and clear, right? All the detail that's in there, you wanna be able to see those letters nice and clear, not just see the letters. The clearer the letter, the better the paint. The clearer the letter, the better the paint. And I wanted you to see why this car looks so shiny under these great lights, and that is why. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood. And you know what, you may not care to go under the hood, but I want you to show that it's detailed under the hood in case you wanted to go to a car show, you wanna show some friends, because quite honestly, this engine uh, is so different than any other engine that's out there. I want you to see, first off, it's a four-cylinder compacted to a two-cylinder size. How does that work? The same way the modern Bentley uh, W12 works, where the cylinders are staggered together right there, right? We got twin side draft Solexes. Uh, we have all the detail of paint in here. No shortcuts are done here, right? The original decals have been uh, replaced here. The original tag for the car uh, with the statement of, you know, it's VIN number and all that is still with the car. This is detailed. The radiator's repainted and record. The air cleaner's repainted and done. It's like the detail stuff that makes a car a little bit nicer car. And you would be proud to open the hood of this because most people have never even seen one, especially uh, the Lancia motor that's like this. 1.3 liters, just a cool, cool engine. Great power for a super, super light car and uh, a fabulous mug on top of it. All right, so I'd like to talk about the back of the car for a minute. Not that you're gonna see a lot of it, but it's nice to walk up to it and know that, that it's restored, right? New lenses and new emblems and new trim. The paint is beautiful back here. You know, I say a little custom. It wouldn't hurt to maybe if you wanted to. Some people like to leave things bone stock. Maybe a cool dual tip muffler. Uh, that would come up and kick up a little bit like the old Anza, Anza style exhaust. That would add a nice touch to it. Uh, again, you're making it personal if you want to. Otherwise, we can leave it bone stock the way it is, which is really great. But I also wanted to show you uh, the detail uh, in here and see how the latch works like it's supposed to. It's all painted in here, new gaskets, new bumpers. Here's a spare tire and jack. And the original style mat is new. Well, you say, Tone, uh, it has a spare tire and jack. Who cares, right? Well, I'm gonna tell you who cares is I care, and the reason why I care is because nine times out of 10, uh, you never get these parts with the car, and the simple fact is if it has it in it, somebody took the extra effort to finish it up. This works like it's supposed to, right? Look at that, boom, and we're ready to roll. Let's move to the inside. Perfect. All right, so on the outside of the car, it is beautiful, and we are talking about going inside. Cognac interior, I think it's a lot like Spaghetti carbonara, right? If you've had great spaghetti carbonara, the spaghetti is on the inside, the carbonara is on the outside, and neither one of them is okay without the other. You have to have the outside with the inside. Let's go check out what we got inside and let's see what the carbonara is doing with the spaghetti, all right? So inside here, inside here, 
is a fabulous interior. I, you don't need me to tell you how beautiful looking it is, but the cognac seating, the way it's all designed, this full array of gauges on the dash here. 7,000 RPM TAC, 200, mile, 200 kilometer an hour speedometer, which is almost 140 miles an hour. They knew this car was fast and they set it up so that you would have all of the things you needed to go fast. The five speed makes a big difference in the upgrade. And if you wanted to, God, I get so excited. I'd run out of breath sometimes because it's so great to be in these cars because you never see them, right? Is we could hide a, uh, a digital sound system in the glove box here, keeping the dash all nice and stock. So you could stream your music, um, have satellite, stuff like that and enjoy it. But again, back to the original part is this is a roomy car. I'm 6'1", right? I'm 6'1", and like I have to reach for the shifter and what have you. There's plenty of room in here and also room in there to take the kids for a ride if you want or another couple or something like that. All right, so we're closing up the video in this, uh, I don't know, just amazing Lancia Fulvia. When we're talking about French blue paint, right? French blue paint, I'd like to butcher it in Italian if I could for just a moment, please. Uh, Azzurro Francia right? Maybe it's good. Maybe it's bad. Maybe it wasn't too bad. Anyway, I hope you don't give me a lot of heat for that, but I do like to attempt to say it properly. This is French blue paint. It's awesome. The cognac interior is awesome. The five speed, uh, the fact that it's got the bigger 1.3 in it, it's restored. The chromadoras. It's just an awesome, awesome car. I smile because I know when I drive this car, people look at it and go, wow, what is that? Most people have never even seen one. Anyway, call us. 301-816-1000 will tell you how to get this uh, Lancia Fulvia in your garage. And if you would, please uh, share that video with your friends there and family. And uh, if you would like it as well, there's a like button right down below. And if you subscribe to the channel, we have more content coming out all the time. Anyway, I'll see you for the test drive. All right, I wanted to start this up because you know what? There's a lot of times you're never going to hear the sound of one of these because they're so few and far between. And it really makes a sound different than all of the cars. We're rolling out in the Fulvia, Lancia Fulvia, right? And the handling of this car is just fabulous. Now I know why they're so legendary. And the engine is making this great sound. Oh man, look at it, this goes right around the corner. Smooth. I have to tell you, I'm watching the gauges come up and down. We're just wheeling around, not going too fast, but we're going plenty fast for uh, to try out the big brakes which work great, like here's a good braking zone here, downshift, wheel our way up around the corner, back on the gas, super nice gearbox. Wow, this is super, super good. I can't wait for you to get this and try this on your own. You are gonna love this car. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the test drive and I'll see you on the next one. That was